Okay, I welcome you to one more session of AI 430. Today we are going to create a research paper summarizer and a keyword creator using GPT-4 Mini. Okay, so now uh, let me uh, give you a brief about how this whole thing would work. So we have uh, our code part. In the code, we have written two functions. Function one, which will read the extract of the research paper, and that is it will go to the research paper, extract out a portion, and then you have a second function which is called the summary and keyword generator. Now the summary and keyword generator would basically take that extracted out abstract portion and send it to GPT-4 Mini. Now GPT-4 Mini would uh, be creating a summary of the abstract which is sent to it, and it will also give us the keywords. So it will be doing two things, the summary and the keywords. Okay, all right, so now let's try to see how does a research paper looks like. So a research paper looks like this. So this is a research paper called Elevating Fairness in Gen Z one Credit Assessments, a large language model driven approach. So ideally in the research paper, there is a section called abstract, which you can see over here. These are the authors. So I'm one of the authors out here along with uh, another data scientist. So this is abstract. So what we're going to do now is that we're not going to code this. We're going to code this research paper summarizer and keyword extractor using OpenAI's GPT-4 Mini. Okay, let's go and see how the code looks like. So this is how the code looks like. Okay, so I'm at my VS code. So what I've essentially done is that I've written this uh, particular Python code. Uh, so you see over here, it includes a couple of portions. First of all, we have the import. So we have this particular li library called FIDS. FIDS is a high performance Python library for data extraction, analysis, conversion, and manipulation of PDF documents. I have imported OpenAI, so here I'm using the OpenAI as my as a proprietary LLM, which would uh, which is exposed via APIs, and we don't know how the LLM is because it's a proprietary one from OpenAI, but all that we're doing over here is that we're calling the APIs and sending across our, our abstract from the research paper. So now I have another file called stack key, which is a secret key, and I'm importing my secret key. So this part essentially I have used to not show my API key to in this video, but it's a very good practice to ensure that your API keys are hidden and are not exposed to the external world. Because a lot of time when you push in to get the code, your API keys goes in, these are paid API keys, so somebody might use your API keys and blow up your bill, which you definitely don't want. The next part, as I say, it has got two functions. So function number one, def extract abstract. So here I am essentially what I'm trying to do is that I'm giving, uh, I'm creating this function, just give me a moment. So I'm creating this function which uses fits to essentially get the PDF. And after getting the PDF, it actually goes down and abstracts the first part of the research paper until the abstract section. Okay, so once it does this part, it is, it is essentially the summarize and generate keyword to which this abstract is sent. And it essentially, what we have done over here is that we have used this particular function to so summarize and generate keyword, this particular function primarily to summarize and abstract, summarize the abstract and generate keywords using OPACE. So uh, what I've done over here is that I have actually created a prompt and to the prompt I'm saying, summarize the following research, uh, following paper abstract and generate no more than five keywords. And then I'm calling GPT-4 or mini and I am essentially sending these two messages. I'm saying that you are a helpful assistant and then I'm sending this particular prompt. I've kept the temperature to the lower side to ensure that my responses are somewhat deterministic. Okay, next part, I'm going to get the summary from the OpenAI API specifically from GPT-4 Mini and what summary is, uh, is responded via the APIs, I'm taking that and, 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 and printing that. So we are extracting the response from there. Okay, so now how to run it? So we specify the path. So I put my research paper, which I've just shown to you. That is this research paper into the files folder. I created a folder called files, and in that I have put it, and I've given the path to it. And the next thing that I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to call the abstract, creating the, create the abstract by calling the extract underscore abstract function. And if the abstract exists on the first page, then I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that you go ahead and call this particular function called summarize and generate keyword. And to that, I'm sending a parameter, which is the abstract that I've just abstracted, search paper, Lamika. So after this, we get the summary. I print the summary. Now let's try to see how this works. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to select this particular portion, go and uh, run this. So once I select this particular portion, go and run this, uh, you see that it has actually given a summary. Well, this is what my paper is about. So it, it talks about the importance of credit assessment. Next, it talks about the problems about traditional credit assessment it also introduces a unique methodology or a unique language model in credit assessment called Lamika, which you can see over here. And finally, also talks about how this LLM can enhance fairness. It also gives me five keywords, credit assessment, large language models, fairness, financial services, bias analysis. So it gives me the five keywords from this particular research paper. 
Okay, so with this, what we have just now done is that we have created a wrapper on top of OpenAI GPT-4 Mini, and we have created a research paper summarizer and keyword creator. Uh, okay, thank you so much.